My name's Cliff Wallace. I'm a special makeup effects artist and sculptor. I do, I do a lot of war films, and something that I've found really useful is rubber dust. And I use that all the time, mixing it with blood, um, you know, putting it, using it as wound filler, that sort of thing. I love the Bluebird palettes. Um, I just love the, uh, the colors of the Bluebird palettes, especially the character palettes is, is one that I really use a lot. One thing that I always, that I always have in my kit is, um, is a cigarette holder. Obviously a lot of the glues we use are, are uh, you know, combustible. So, um, so yeah, if, they, if you can offer them, uh, if you can offer them uh, uh, a cigarette holder, that's, that's a really good thing to have in your kit. Um, another thing I love is, is dry blood. And you can use that on actors, you can use it on their weapons, you know, and it stays shiny and it's really good. And another thing that I found is really great with that is that, is that you can mix it with, uh, if you mix that with uh, silicon sealants and uh, and uh, buff titanium paint, you can make a really good sort of gore texture that you never get from sculpting stuff. So again, you can sort of fabricate stuff very quickly. A lot of films that I really like aren't, aren't horror stuff, but the ones that the ones that are dear to me as a makeup artist are obviously the sort of things that were around when I was growing up. So it is things like American Werewolf and The Howling and The Thing and uh, all those sort of you know, sort of stuff that happened at the beginning of the 80s that sort of made me think, wow, you know, this is cool. Top tip for starting out is, is, um, is really don't be put off by anyone. If you really want to do it, then, then you know, you can. It's the only job I know that you, you don't really need any qualifications to get, get a job. There's no, there's no qualification from a makeup school or anything like that that will get you a job. The only thing that will get you a job is pictures of good work. And, um, and you can learn that at home, you don't, have to go to, you don't have to go to a school, there's so much information there. It's, it's, it really is all available to you. Um, there's no excuse for not, for not learning how to do it, it really is. I guess the most important one is, is you know, not to take things too seriously. It's taken me about, it's taken me about 25 years to come to this conclusion. Um, you know, you spend a lot of hours and a lot of time and, and it can be a very stressful job. But really, from my point, it's, it's only rubber men. You know, you're only making rubber men and, um, and it's not life or death. You know, there are more important things in life than, than making rubber men. So don't take it too seriously. For God's sake, don't make yourself ill doing it. <laughs>